Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. It's time for another Blu-ray update. This time we have four titles from Radiance, a company that I have thoroughly enjoyed their output this year. In fact, so much so that I'll talk about it when I get to one of the titles, actually. So new out, we have The Hotspot, starring uh, Don Johnson. I remember loving this one. I saw it in the early in the 90s. I don't remember too much about it, which is a... Uh, Great, you know, I know Dennis Hopper, and that's in it, who's always wonderful. I feel as if film that made a, an impact on me, I kind of last, I remember a couple of scenes, uh, and I remember a couple of things that I hope isn't spoilery, because I'd love to go into this one feeling kind of fresh about it. Uh, next up by Rudolf Tom is Red Sun. Now, this is one of their Blu-ray premieres. I remember talking to Fran about this one, and he kind of sold it to me. You know, initial... Thoughts on a lot of the Radiance films is, I'm not sure what I think about that. I don't know what it's going to be, but the discovery aspect has been so wonderful. Where I'm starting to pick out films that I may never have discovered, that I am absolutely loving. So I'm curious about Red Sun, which is about a group of women who seem to be killing off people. Um, and I, I'm interested to see where that goes. Now, one of the films... I missed out, it came out earlier in Radiance, was one that I, I didn't feel really spoke to me. I kind of thought about it on and off. I asked people in the channel their thoughts of it, and I was just never quite sure. And sometimes you get that with a movie, you know, something that doesn't jump out at you. So I kept getting Radiance titles, I kept watching them and enjoying them, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to take a chance on uh, Fill It Up With Super. Now, it's a road movie, a French road movie, uh, really quick, 90 minutes. Other than that, I don't really know anything about it, but I'm kind of curious about just giving it the chance, just jumping in and seeing if I enjoy this one. If I enjoy that, then it's pretty much a 100% record for Radiance so far this year, which is incredible. Uh, and I just... I, 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 I'm a little trepidatious, but I... I so confident in the company now that I'm willing to just blind buy and give that a shot. Uh, next up is one that I've heard nothing but great things. Last year, uh, last month's movie from Kinji Fukusaku, and that is Yakuza Graveyard. Now, this kind of harkens back a little bit to Big Time Gambling Boss, which was phenomenal. What a debut movie uh, from Radiance. Absolutely terrific. Um, going into a more 70s set, I think. Uh, yeah, 76. Yakuza film. Uh, Fukusaku, as you know, has got a great pedigree behind him. It's a Yakuza film. What could possibly go wrong? So I am looking forward to delving into these Radiance titles. Again, all varied, all different, all kind of surprises. I don't know what I'm going to get, which is... It's key for me uh, as a, a film collector, as someone who wants to discover films as well. So I would love to know your thoughts on these films. If you've seen any of them, what do you like about them? What do you not like? Is there any good extras I should delve into first? Let me know in the comment box below uh, so I'm unaware of what I'm about to get myself into. As always, there's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff. And in the description box below are links to the Patreon membership programme manvfilm.com. Always in which you can support me.